No, what's the opposite word to Thanksgiving? What's the opposite, opposite word? Huh? Huh? Opposite. Okay. What else? Complain. That's right. Okay, complain. Okay, give you one book. Okay. Okay, complain. Okay, complain. You know, somebody say, you know, I used to think people complain because they have a lot of problems. But I have come to realize that they have problems because they complain. Huh? I say again, I used to think people complain because they had a lot of problems. But I have come to realize that they have problems because they complain. Right? Huh? But Bible, you know, uh, say, you know, in the, um, in the first Th- Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, First Thessalonians chapter five, verse eighteen. It says, "Rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus." It's God's will for you in Jesus Christ. He say, actually, they have two translations. One they say, "Give thanks in all circumstances." He has translations. In everything, give thanks. In everything, you give thanks. God wants us in everything, give thanks. Or, or give thanks to all the circumstances. Because that's the will God gives to us in Christ Jesus. It's his will for you. In Hebrew chapter 12, verse 25, he said, let us praise God by serving him and a thanks for heart. How can you praise God? We, because we serve Him with the thanks for heart. Yet serve Him with thanks for heart. Let's praise Him. I will say, praise Him. Because, uh, you know, uh, everything is from God. That's why we need to give thanks to the Lord. In Psalm chapter 24, verse 1. Psalm chapter uh, 24, verse 1. He said, give thanks. Okay, Mary, can you read? Psalm chapter 24, verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. See, everything is a belong to the law. So we got to give things. Everything is from the law. And also 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. For who makes you different from anyone else? What do you have that you did not receive? And if you do receive it, why do you boast as though you did not? So everything we have is what we receive from God. So we cannot boast everything. Somebody have a good voice that's received from God. Somebody know how to make money that's received from God. Right? Somebody have a good, you know, good something, do something good. That's good cooking. Wow. That's a receipt from the law. Everything is received from the law. And also in James chapter 1, verse 17, he said, okay, he said, you know, every good thing and perfect thing from what? Huh? From above, from God, right? Mary, can you read James chapter 1, verse 17? For in the same way, faith, let's see, chap, uh, chapter 4? Chapter 1. Chapter 1, oh, I'm sorry. Verse 17. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. Yes. All the good, 
perfect thing is from the law. Give from the law. So we need to give thanks. Give thanks. You know? Paul, he liked to, when he write a letter, he liked to give thanks to the law for every time he prayed for the people and he gives thanks to the law. Romans chapter 1, verse 8. Romans chapter 1, verse 8. He said, first, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith is being reported all over the world. I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you. Me too. I give thanks to the Lord for all of you. All of you. And also, first, first Corinthians chapter 1. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 4. I always thank my God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. He said, I always thank God for you. I always thank God for you. You talk to your neighbor, say, I thank, always thank God for you. Yeah. I always thank God for you. See? Oh, every day they say, thank God for you. And Ephesians chapter 1, verse 16. I have not stopped giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. You see, I... I'm not stopping give thanks for you. Remember you in my prayer. Give thanks. Why? Give thanks. I have not stopping giving thanks for you. Remember you in my prayer. So, when you pray for somebody, you get to give thanks for the Lord for that person. Oh, he always this prayer. Philippians chapter 1, verse 3. I thank my God every time I remember you. In, I, all, okay. Yeah. In okay. all my prayers for all of you. you I say, always pray with pray joy. Pray with joy. In all my prayer. For of you, I always pray with joy. Did you pray for all the joy? When we pray for the church, joy. Yeah, I pray for somebody. Next week, he's going to jump. That's so good, right? I thank my God every time I remember you. I remember, I thank God. This is not just when... Peter get married and write right there. This is Peter, this is Paul. He, he write a letter to, to everybody. I thank my God every time I remember you. We got thanks God to everybody. Right? Okay. Thank God for well, I have brother here. Somebody, thanks for the law, right? And also in the Colossians, Colossians chapter 1, verse 3. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all God's people. You say, we always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you. When, when we pray for you, did you have this kind of prayer? Thank to the Lord for this person and, and pray for him. He said, we always, you know, we always thank God, the Father, our Lord, Jesus Christ, when we pray for you. When we pray for you. You, you pray for brothers and sisters, not report to God what happened to him. No, you pray to him, to the, the person, because you thank God. 
or God bring this brother, sister to your life? Right? Oh, he makes sure that he let the people in the church know that he was thankful for them. You are filled with Holy Spirit all the time. In the Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20. Always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. When you give thanks to the Lord, what happened? The Bible says you will be filled with Holy Spirit. Okay, he talked about be filled with Holy Spirit in verse 18. And then he used four ways to be filled with Holy Spirit. Which way? The, one, what, the, the first one is speaking um, to one another with a hymn, psalm, hymn, and spiritual song. And second way is singing and make, make uh, music in your heart to the Lord. And third, it's always giving thanks to the, to the God, the Father, for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And then submitting to one another out of reverence of Christ. When you do these four things, every time you do it, you feel with the Holy Spirit. He said, be filled with the Holy Spirit. It's Ben Burr. And then use the uh, participle to how to do it. To, to speak in some and also um, uh, you know make, make melody in your heart make a melody in your heart and then give thanks and then you know submitting to one another in Colossians chapter 3 verse, seven, verse 17 Colossians chapter 3 verse 17 and whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Say everything, you know. And whatever you do, whether in the word or deed, do it all the name all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. You know, um, there's a cut, cartoon, you know, the, the, the comic. Uh, there's a Charles Peanut, you know, there's Peanut, Charles, and also Snoopy. You know Snoopy? Yeah. Snoopy, you know, the dog, you know. And this Snoopy always, uh, you know, like to lie down on the roof. The house, right? The, one day, Snoopy, you know, was Thanksgiving Day. And Snoopy, took one look at the dog food and he said, this is not fair. Soon he said, this is not fair. The rest of the world today, this is Thanksgiving, they eat the turkey with dressing and all I get is dog food because I'm a dog. And all I get is dog food. After he he say that. After all, why? Think, think. And he say, I guess it, you know, he say, I guess it could be worse. I could be a turkey. <laughs> right? So he give thanks to the Lord, not just for the tough food. Hallelujah. And, you know, give thanks uh, you know, Thanksgiving should be every day, not just once a, once a year. So that's, if every day is Thanksgiving, or every week is Thanksgiving, so every day, every week you have four days vacation. Right? Israel. Daniel, you know, in chapter 6, verse 10, Daniel, what do you do? How many times he pray? Who says three? Yeah. No, but I, I, I want one already. Huh? You, you can give it to somebody else because I wanted a book already. 
Okay, okay. It's who who like? It's called it's Jesus. You can ignore. Okay. Maybe one dollar. Oh, no. Okay. 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 <clears throat> okay. Uh, you, can you read chapter six, verse ten, Daniel? Chapter six, verse what? Ten. Ten. Okay. Now, when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, he went home to his upstairs room, where the windows opened towards Jerusalem. Three times a day, he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God, give, just as he had done before. Yeah, give thanks to the God. Three times. He's so busy. His schedule so busy. As a prime minister, but three times he lay. He kneeled down and he prayed to the Lord and he gave thanks to the Lord three times a day. Not just one time a day, three times. So good, you know. And in the Luke chapter 17, verse 11 to 19. Luke chapter 17, verse 11 to 19. Now, on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. And as he was going into a village, ten men who had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out to, in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus asked, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Rise and go. Your faith has made you well. Only, only one come back to give thanks to the Jesus. And Jesus said, where are the other nine? Where are the other nine? You know, in the Old Testament, in, in, the, in the Psalm, they talk about Evil man, what was the evil man? It's not he kill people or do something. Your man is he not give thanks to the God for evil man. So we got to give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. In um, Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Be thankful. Thankful. Talk to yourself. Be thankful. Be thankful. And talk to your neighbor. Say, be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. Hallelujah. Be thankful. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. But thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God. He gives us what? Victory. We are not victim. We are victory. Victor. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You have something this year. You have victory. Thank you to the Lord. Right. Say, thank you, Lord. He give us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I like the second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15. I just like this verse. I always like to to to, to shout to the Lord. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15. The last verse of chapter Thanks nine. be to God for his indescribable gift. And thank be to God for his indescribable. Some some of the book say his unspeakable gift. Thank to be God for his uh, indescribable. What does that mean? Too much. Give too much. God always gives us the gift. Too much gift. My grandson just one year old, and my daughter keep calling me and say, "You got to, hey, daddy, you you come to see me. Got to buy the, the remote control, the truck. What? He said one year old. That's that's too much for him, right? <laughs> You're gonna do a crush. But God say, I will give you more than you ask him for. And also good to you. I will give you the indescribable gift. No. He always wrap his gift. Wrap his put the, everything for you. And that's a gift. For you. Indescribable gift to you. And I I like that you also, I like Colossians, Colossians chapter 1, verse 12 to 14. The best gift God gave to you is Jesus Christ. It's his salvation. Colossians. And giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness, and he has brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption and the forgiveness of sins. Hallelujah. That's a gift. A thanks for the Lord, you know. See, and give thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the kingdom of light. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of Son he loves, in whom we have redemption and forgiveness of sin. That's a gift. That's a gift. What means gift? What means grace? You don't need to buy it. It's a gift, free gift to you. In this uh, Thanksgiving season, God wants us to have thankful heart. And give, give thanks to the Lord. Actually, when you give thanks to the Lord, God give you more. God give you more. Last year, I say, you know, it's a year increase. Year increase, right? Yeah. And next year, God give me a word. The year of new. Something. Next year, God going to do new stuff. New. Yeah. It's a year increase. Did you have increase? New, you never experienced before. It's a new year for you. Let us pray. If you have something to, to give thanks to the Lord, please stand up. 
Hallelujah. Do you have thanks for what? I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, so good. Thanks for what? Yeah. Peter, you want to pray for thanks? Snoopy, Lord, we would remember where our blessings come yes. from. That we would remember that you are the giver of all good things. And so I pray, Father, that we would have hearts of thankfulness and gratitude. And Lord, that we would always look upward towards you, the giver of all of these things, Lord, and the giver of grace and mercy. And most importantly, the giver of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father, that we have salvation in in yes. Christ, yes. Lord, amen. Amen. and that we know that our eternity is secured, or we don't have to worry about what's going on in the stock market, or, or in Russia, or in China, or anything, or because we know that you are the God who reigns on high, Father, and yes. nothing yes. is a surprise yes. to you, Father. Praise you. So, Lord, I just commit these into your hands, Lord. I pray, Father, for my brothers and sisters, and myself as well, Lord, that we would always be thankful to the Almighty God. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Father, we just thank you. Ask you to pour out this thanks for heart. In our heart. We are like a tide. Joy, the tide of joy. Just let the river of this uh, joy to flow to us. Lord. Let us a miracle. Let us, our life become a miracle for you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, say, give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. For his good. His love. love. Induced sure. forever. See, when they shout, in uh, such a long time, they shout, what happened? God sent the troop to attack the enemy, right? Yes. So we shout seven times. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. For his good. Thanks. His love. His love. And mercy. mercy. Induced forever. forever. Give thanks to the Lord. For his good. His love. And mercy. Induce forever. forever. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. For his good. For his, good. his love. love. <coughs> Induce forever. forever. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. For, his for his good. His love. love. Induce forever. forever. Okay, yeah. this time you shout, okay? Forever. Forever. So shout, give thanks to the Lord. Okay? Shout. Shout. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for His good and love. In this forever. Give thanks to the Lord for His good, His love, and this forever. Is have a joy? Give thanks to the Lord 
for his good, his love, and mercy endures forever. Receive God's blessing. Father, we just uh, receive your blessing today. Oh, we thank you. Yes. We expect your gift just flow to us. We expect your grace upon grace to us. We expect your favor and favor to us. Lord, in our job, in our relationship, in our family, in our children. We expect, unexpect, all this gift just flow to us. All this blessing come to us. Lord, you say the blessing is rich without worry. Pray for something good. Come back to us. The growth, the something you lost before, or something you, 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 you um, the house, the money, the everything, are going to, that this house, everything, come back to you. Hallelujah. The joy, God is going to give you back. And 1,000 for the joy come back to you. Yeah. I ask you to pour out the Father's love. How the Father love the Son, Jesus Christ, this love. Flow! Over, flow our heart. Let us soak in Father's love. Father's love. Favor upon favor, the grace upon grace of Jesus Christ is poured out to us. Well, we just thank you a meaning. Thank you. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the strength of the Holy Spirit. Refresh, renew the Holy Spirit. Just flow, overflow our brother and sister. We thank you. And ask you to bless in not just only us, also our spouse, our children, and children, and children. Over for us to our father and mother. And thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Talk to your neighbor. Say, you are blessed. You are blessed. I saw the glory of God upon your face. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, hallelujah. That's so good, right? Hallelujah. That's so good.